Hey everyone, as promised, uh, doing a quick video on getting the ASA virtual edition of the Adaptive Security Appliance up and running in Eve NG. So notice I've logged into Eve NG after messing up the username and password a bunch of times. Remember, it's simply the login of root and the password of Eve, lowercase eve. -E. So notice I'm reminded of our IP address that's been assigned to the Eve box. So what we're going to need to do first is transfer using SFTP the image that we're going to use for our ASAV. So notice SFTP is my protocol. I've got the IP address for the hostname field port number 22, the root and Eve password. So we are just going to log in to the Eve server. Now, I had a root temp directory in the Eve server that it could not find. So that's the error message there. That's no biggie. So here is the win SCP application all logged in that we are utilizing. So I've navigated to where the ASAV image is that I want to copy over. And I'm just going to do a click and drag in order to copy that to the root of the Eve server. Now what I'm going to do is head up to my blog because on the blog in the EVNG category, I have a document that's going to give me the commands that I'm going to need in order to get that this image up and running. So I'm going to be copying these and I'm going to be doctoring them up for the exact image name that I'm going to be using. So let me just grab these steps and I'll doctor them up for us on Notepad. All right, so there's my commands all doctored up for my exact image name. And the first thing that we're going to do is make the appropriate directory inside of EVNG. And noticed I just did a launch of PuTTY and logged into the EVNG box using PuTTY. That way I can use things like copy paste. And also I could blow it up so you can see it better in this video. So there we are making the directory for our ASAV image. Let me click in there and hit carriage return. Obviously, if there's no feedback given to us, there was no error. Great. Next up, we use the move command in order to move the ASAV image that we uploaded with Secure FTP into the appropriate directory we created. Next up, we want to make sure that we can use Telnet with our ASAV image. So we're doing an app get update here, and then we are going to do an app get of the library guest FS tools. So we're going to install those. I just did a clear of the screen by typing clear so you can see what I'm up to a little better. And now I need to paste in the command where we change directories. So I'll copy that to the clipboard, go back to Eve and paste it in. So there we go, we're in the appropriate directory. And now we're gonna run some commands to enable Telnet. So let me do this, let me go as far as here. Notice that I like to paste these commands in, uh, you know, kind of a command at a time, if you will, because I wanna be very careful that things have time to finish and we don't get errors. So it looks like everything's going great up to this step and now we'll do this work. So again, copying and pasting here and it looks like it's doing its thing, error free. And actually it looks like we just had our first error and it looks like it's just a, a matter of me accidentally uh, putting in the same command twice. So I think we are gonna be just fine. I can see here that what we needed to run ran beautifully and finished at 100%. All right, great. So what's left to do here is clean up the permissions. So let me grab the correct command to do that. Here it is, and we're gonna paste it in. And it runs without error, excellent. So now I've fired up my Firefox and we're going to the Eve IP address and we are going to sign in to the native console. And here I am in the Eve graphical user interface. So what we want to do is I will just create a new topology uh, and we'll drop in a couple of ASAVs in that topology to test. 
So I'll go to the root here and let me create a new folder actually for tests, named tests. And then we'll go into that folder and that's where we will create our topology. So we'll add a new lab into that folder. This is ASAV test. And let's say save that puppy. And let me just change my display so you can see this and I'll be right back. All right, I've updated my resolution so you can see what I'm doing. I went to the plus sign on the left-hand side of the Eve topology window to add a new node and notice we have the ASAV highlighted here so we can add it. So we're gonna go with the defaults on these settings for the ASAV and just click the save button down at the bottom there. Let me close the configured nodes and let me grab this ASAV and place it so you can see it in the topology. And I'm going to add one more of those and we'll configure them back to back. So we'll add another ASAV and then we will grab the little connector tool and connect them. We'll connect them using the gigabit zero slash zero interfaces and save. And we are ready to run this simulation. Now, whenever I'm doing a new node like this in a test, I like to go ahead and start the devices one at a time. So notice I'm gonna right click, start the one on the left, and then I'll right click and start the one on the right once that's had a chance to spin up. All right, as you can see, I've got them both fired up. Everything seems to be working. Now's a great time to go over to your options on the left and you'll wanna click the status button because what you want to do at this point is check on the CPU usage, the memory usage, and notice things look pretty decent here, and I'm not even logged into these systems, so the CPU usage will go down once we get logged in and, and have the devices kind of settle down at their privilege mode prompts. So remember, all you're going to be doing is clicking on the device and opening the link in order to make your connection, hit enter on the keyboard, and there we go. Enable to get into privilege mode, there is no password, and we can see that we're logged in successfully to the Cisco ASA. Do I have my interfaces? It show interface IP brief, for instance, and we can see our interfaces are there, ready for our configuration. Well, I feel great about things. I'm gonna go ahead and select both of these nodes. So I'll click and drag to select them, right click and stop the selected nodes. And we'll then once they're stopped, close up the graphical user interface, come over here to EVNG and we're gonna do our, oh, not shit, but shut down. <laughs> and hyphen H now. And so we'll gracefully shut down our EVE next generation product. And I wanna thank you for joining me in this video.